Hello everybody, my name is Leo and with this video we share a demo review of the Zoom G11 that is an amp modeling and multi-effects pedal board. First of all we will share a demo song hearing the Zoom G11 in action, then we will describe the main characteristics of the unit, then we will hear more sounds in the dedicated section of this video also comparing the G11 to real amps and finally I will give you my two cents. At the very end, I will leave you with the unboxing experience. So, I hope you enjoyed and please subscribe and hit the bell. It's gonna really help me to make more videos like this. Let's start with the demo song. Let's now share the main features of the unit. It offers 24 amp models built in with 22 cabs and 23 IRs. Each IR offers the possibility to place the mic in three different positions, while for each cab you have two microphones available that are an SM57 and MD421. And you can only change the mix between them and not their position. So I would say that the mix section is a little bit poor. It offers 60 banks each of 4 patches for a total amount of 240 patches. The G11 allows you to combine up to 10 effects, however we must select effects that do not cause the processor to exceed 100%. So the 10 limit effect is a theoretical limit that depends on how much power each effect and amp is requiring. The effects type available are 11 dynamics, 16 filters among WA and EQ, 28 drives, 26 modulations, 4 special effects, 17 delays, 15 reverbs. As regards the I.O., it has a guitar input and an aux in, it offers a stereo FX loop with the optional signal chain routing for integration of our effects. It offers only unbalanced stereo outputs and not balanced, and this is a pity, as for long cable on stage, XLR connection are better in order to have less noise in the signal. It has an headphone out and a control in jack for an additional expression pedal, other than the built-in one. It has both MIDI in and MIDI out. There is also a socket to connect a wireless adapter to control the G11 wirelessly with a tablet and this is pretty cool. But you have to pay for this external card almost 30 bucks. It has two USB ports. One is Type-C for connecting the unit to a computer and one is used to connect it for instance to a USB drive for firmware updates more on USB later in this video. It has 11 foot switches and here is worth spending few words as the foot switches are pretty different from what you can find in all the other amp modeling pedal boards available in the market. Six foot switches, this one, are used in order to change patches, bank or to browse effects or to activate the tuner or the tap tempo. On the other hand, five foot switches, these ones, are dedicated to switch on and off effects to give you a traditional pedalboard experience. In fact, 
above each of these five foot switches you have four controllers and a little screen that allows you to manipulate a specific effect. Well, here I have mixed feeling. On one hand, this is pretty handy. On the other hand, this foot switch's arrangement is less flexible in comparison with the other pedal board, where all the foot switches available, for instance, can be used to change presets or to switch on and off effects. I think it is something you need to get used, if you come from other amp modeling pedal boards. It has a 5 minutes built-in looper with also a drum machine. It has a 5 inches color screen that is also touch sensitive. It supports a USB audio connection to serve as a digital audio interface for recording guitar and for editing the signal chain. The USB channels available are 4 so that you can simultaneously record the stereo output and the dry signal before effects in a DAW for the reamplification of the recorder performances. The type of connection is Type-C, thank you Zoom, finally someone with Type-C, but if I understood it well, it is a USB 2 connection just with the physical form of the Type-C. I mean, the bandwidth and the latency should be the one of the normal USB 2 connection. It supports a sampling rate of 44.1 kHz at 24-bit with a dynamic range of 123 dB. That is a pretty high value. Here the manual is not so clear as there is written 24-bit in the ADA conversion technical characteristics section and then 32 bits in the USB section. There is a Cubase LE version bundled with the G11 which is pretty nice. The dimensions are 253 by 495 by 64 millimeters. The weight is 2.8 kilos. It requires a power supply of 12 volt DC at 3000 milliampere. Now let's hear some more sounds. Now let's talk about the pros and cons. Let me start from the cons. The first one is the 44.1 kHz sampling rate, as I typically record at 48 kHz. Then I would mention the missing balance out, which would allow us to use longer cable without noise, which is pretty handy for live situations. Then I would say that the touch screen experience can be improved and I found it uh, not so handy right now. For instance, when you are browsing a list of effects or amps, sometimes there are lags. You can, by mistake, select an effect or an amp. But maybe these cons about the user interface can be fixed with future firmware updates. Lastly, it feels a little bit plasticky, also considering that the price point is pretty high. As regards the pros, first of all, it is pretty lightweight really lightweight. Then I really love the Type-C connection that allows me to connect it to my Mac without dangles. The 5 foot switches with pedal like controls are pretty handy if you come from uh, traditional pedal boards and also the big controls related to the amp are a nice touch and give you easy access to the primary knob controllers of the amp. Finally the sound. 
Well, to me, it sounds good. We will compare the G11 with other AMP modeling pedal boards in future videos, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell in order not to miss them. But I am basically enjoying using this G11 and it is pretty inspirational. But now it's your turn. What do you think about the G11? Do you like it? Do you like its user interface? Do you think it sounds good? To which other AMP modeling pedal board would you like me to compare it? Please let me know in the comment below your precious and valuable opinions. So these were my final two cents, we have now reached the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed and if you did it, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, it will really be of a great help. See you in the next video, bye bye.